It's a luxury and a great feeling to own your own home regardless of how small or big it is. Home is where the heart is. And for these residents, that meant the heart was surrounded by the construction roads, malls and skyscrapers. From Austin Spriggs House to Lower Bargain Hout, here is 10 houses that people refuse to leave them in spite of being offered large sums of money. 10. Edith Maysfield House Edith Maysfield became a neighborhood hero when she refused to give up her upstyle little farmhouse in 2006 to make way for a commercial venture in Seattle's Ballard neighborhood. She even turned down a staggering offer of $1 million. Ultimately, her five-story complex was built around her 108-year-old farmhouse in which she lived until her death in 2008 at the age of 86. Maysfield left her house to her friends and construction superintendent Barry Martin. Her story was very similar to the storyline of the animation movie Up, where an aging widow's house had been surrounded by commercial development. Disney even attached a bunch of balloons to Maysfield's house in 2009 as a promo for the movie. In the same year, Martin sold the house for $310,000 to a real estate dealer, Greg Pineo. 9. Luo Bogan House In 2011, Chinese homeowner Luo Bogan made world headlines when he refused to give up his property in Wenling, China to make way for a highway. He claimed that the compensation for relocation was too low. Lucky for him, modified Chinese rules now state that homeowners cannot be forced to leave their properties without an agreement. The house was partly demolished and the highway built around it. Although all of the tenants vacated the building, Luo and his wife remained. In December 2012, after a couple of months, Luo finally relented after authorities offered him a higher compensation of 260,000 yuan or $41,000. The house was demolished soon after. The Million Dollar Corner The Million Dollar Corner refers to a five-story building that stands on the corner of Macy's on 34th Street and Broadway and which had been purchased by Robert Smith in 1900 for $375,000. That was a huge sum in those days, equal to approximately $10.8 million today. The reason for purchasing the house was to retain it so that it would obstruct the construction of Macy's or to stop it from becoming the world's largest store. Macy's ignored the structure and built around it. Today, the building still remains and also carries Macy's banner, which reads the world's largest store. 7. Austin Spriggs House Among people who refused to leave their homes, Austin Spriggs was offered $3 million for his architectural firm, which stood right in the middle of commercial projects during the height of the estate boom in Washington. Developers were constantly in and out of his office, doubling and tripling their offers to almost $3 million, but Spriggs didn't budge. Instead, he wanted to turn the place into a pizzeria. The area was a hot choice for developers wanting to construct swanky condemnings, but Spriggs was in the way. 6. Whooping in China Wu Ping became somewhat of a celebrity when she held out a development company trying to requisition and demolish her house to make way for a supermarket in Chongqing, China. Wu's house stood definitely right in the middle of the construction site even as skyscrapers sprung up all around her home. Along with Wu, 281 families rejected compensation for new homes and to move from the site in 2004. At one point of time, her utilities were cut off. Her house was finally demolished on April 4, 2007, but this time she received a huge settlement of 1 million yuan and a new apartment. 
Wu's story was reported in tabloids across the world and she became an instant celebrity overnight where she has also appeared on TV shows. 5. Nail House in Western China In cities across China, there were several incidents where people refused to vacate their houses to make way for their developing projects, those the construction started and was completed around them. They became known as nail houses as they stuck out like a nail that refused to be hammered down. One of the most famous nail houses was in Chongqing, Western China. The homeowner of even hung the country's national flag around his home as a mark of protest. When the developer was refused an offer, he started constructing around the house in 2007. The owners finally came to an agreement and the house was demolished in April 2007. 4. House in the middle of the road This is another example of a nail house in Yaning Street, Nanning, Guangxi Province, China in April 2015. When this man refused to cow down to authorities and move out his home to make way for a road, the road was built with his home standing in the middle of it. An agreement was finally reached and the house demolished after the owner relented and accepted compensation after a month. 3. Zen Meiju's house in Zhejiang Zen Meiju's house was almost on the verge of demolition when she stopped in Ruyan Zhejiang province, China on July 2013. Jim refused to move out because of the paltry compensation made by the developer wanting to build business plaza. Her water and electricity was also cut off, but she did not relent and was unwilling to give in. It was reported that she continued living in the half-demolished building without amenities. 2. Nail Grieve in Taiwan, China This incident happened in Taiwan, Shaanxi Province, China in December 2012, where a family refused to move their property that was used as a graveyard. Even as the arguments continued between owner and developer, workers began construction around the site. The 10 meter and high mound was eventually relocated after an agreement was reached and the developer paid 800 yuan. Nail House in Shopping Mall, Changsha, China. This is one stubborn owner among people who refused to leave their homes. His little shack finally became part of the premises in a shopping mall in Changsha, China in November 13, 2007. He was so adamant that he also opened up a shop selling garments in the lower area of his home. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more interesting videos. Have a nice day!